Hello, I'm Mark Leslie, I'm the author of more than 30 books. My very first short story was published in 1992, and my very first book came out in 2004. Now you may be wondering why the skull shirts, why the skull paraphernalia, et cetera, in my office here at home. It's primarily because one of my very first short stories that was published received honorable mention in the year's best fantasy and horror. My very first book, a collection of short stories called One Hand Screaming was a collection of previously published horror stories. I have a lot of dark fiction that I've written over the years, and my most popular fiction would be the Canadian Werewolf series that begins with the novel A Canadian Werewolf in New York, in which Michael Andrews wakes up naked in Battery Park with the taste of human blood in his mouth and a bullet hole in his leg, wondering what the heck he did the night before when he was a six foot gray wolf because he has no memory of his wolf time. That was the start of the series with the Canadian werewolf in New York and Michael Andrews, who is a Canadian, basically he is a beta human and an alpha wolf living in the Big Apple, just trying to get by. This dark humor adventure fantasy series basically showcases what a man might do if he were living in a big metropolis, but had extra powers, special powers that could potentially help him help other people, much like a superhero. So you've got a Canadian werewolf in New York, you've got Stowaway, where Michael finds himself on a train from Manhattan to Stowe, Vermont, where the train's gonna arrive before the next cycle of the full moon, then Fear and Longing in Los Angeles, a Fright Night's Big City, Lover's Moon, and Hex in the City. And of course, forthcoming at the time that I'm recording this is only Monsters in the Building. Uh, obviously, the titles will give you an idea of the cheeky nature of the stories. But yes, the reason for the skulls is because many of the things that I write tend to be more macabre, including several of my books, such as Haunted Hospitals, Creepy Capital, Spooky Sudbury, Haunted Hamilton, Tomes of Terror, Haunted Bookstores and Libraries, and Macabre Montreal. But more recently, the books I've been releasing and enjoyed writing and researching and sharing with readers are trivia books to some of my favorite all-time classic films. Do you recognize this particular book? Um, if you're a fan of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, you may recognize it as the book that Del Griffith is reading when he first meets Neil Page. Del Griffith, played by John Candy, was said in the script to supposed to be reading a pornographic novel, just to speak to his character in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. And Steve Martin's character, Neil Page, when he encounters him at the airport, John Candy is reading the book and says, I know you, don't I? I'm usually pretty good with names, but I'll be darned if I haven't forgotten yours. And so begins their relationship. And so begins my interest in this book, which not only appeared in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, obviously the prop team were having a lot of fun with the fact that John Candy was a Canadian actor, but then Ryan Reynolds leveraged that same titled book as a prop in Deadpool 2 as a nod to John Candy. And that's what sparked my interest to want to write a trivia book all about planes, trains, and automobiles, and that is The Canadian Mounted. And this July, July 2023, is the 35th anniversary of one of my all-time favorite action Christmas movies. Oh yeah, I'm talking about Die Hard, baby. The week of July 22nd, 1988, was when Die Hard was released, and it completely changed the landscape for action adventure movies. It set the bar way higher than any other action adventure movie did. It is a fantastic movie, a wonderful action movie, but also a wonderful Christmas movie. <laughs> and so in celebration of the 35th anniversary of the release of Die Hard, I have released Yippee Kaye Mother. Yeah, that's right. The catchphrase that John McClane used in Die Hard and continue to use in all the rest of the films in the franchise. And again, like the Canadian Mounted, which was a celebration, a trivia guide to planes, trains, and automobiles, yippee Kaye, mother, is a celebration of Die Hard on its 35th anniversary, chock full of 
details about the movies behind the scenes, uh, some of the books that the movies were based on, well, books and articles for that matter, as well as some trivia bits based on content from special feature DVDs, from interviews with the various people re related to the movie over the last three plus decades, and a lot more fun. And that is out this July 2023. It's the latest release. And yet, here I am with Skulls. That's because I'm going to continue to jump back in and out of the macabre. But in the meantime, I'm going to have a lot of fun with some trivia and some pop culture, maybe some nostalgia, because I'm also getting on in years. If you want to find more out about me, check out my social media links. You can find out more about me over at marklesley.ca. And you can find my books on most major platforms in print, ebook, audiobook, even, or you can even ask for my books via your local library. Thanks for watching.